All right, y'all, here's front to back how to replace your brakes and rotors on a BMW 335i. First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna get you an 18 millimeter six point um, socket, and then you're gonna get you a three, three eighths or a half inch style. It's not a ratchet, it's just a regular, shoot, just a regular pry bar type thing. So, first thing we do is we loosen up the lug nuts, and then once you loosen them up, you get them all out of there. All right, we've got our lug nuts off there, and then we just pull the wheel right off of there, right? You set that to your side, set that to the side of you. Now. What I'm gonna do, just so I feel safe, I'm gonna take my jack stand, put it right up under here. Okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit it right here. See this, this bar right here? Put it right up underneath of that bar, right? So that right there is gonna make sure that if this jack fails on you, you ain't gonna worry about it, right? So, there we go, we're gonna put that there. So, first of all, what we're gonna do, we're gonna pop this off of there. Real easy. Real easy, pop that off there. This is what you do. You put your screwdriver right there, and it goes flying. Very easy to get this off. Next, we're gonna go behind this. There is two seven millimeter hex screws. So, before she does that though, on these hex bolts, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there is a cap on top of the hex bolt that you wanna take off of there. Each hex bolt has a cap on it. I know you can't see it, it's so dark but it's there y'all so then guys we're going to take this seven millimeter actually i don't know if we needed that uh, extension here put that seven millimeter in there you're going to take that hex bolt out of there here's the top and the bottom as you can see the top one is shorter than the bottom one so make sure when you put that back in that that's what you do then when you do this, what you're going to do is you're going to pull your caliper forward, right? You're going to wiggle it, jiggle it, pull it forward, and it's eventually, wow, that one's, that one's on there pretty good. Take my screwdriver and I'm putting it right in between this brace here and the caliper to give me a little bit of help because this thing was super tight and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull it forward watch your fingers because man that about got me so that comes off there right go ahead pull your brakes off there they only had about three millimeters left on them so your brakes are off there make sure the one that has the the little things the little latches right here that's the one that goes to the front to the front of you so just remember that now we're going to take this caliper we're going to take a bungee strap we're going to bungee strap it up here so that the um so that the hose doesn't get all messed up Ugh. all right calipers hanging up there with a long ass bungee you should use a smaller bungee <laughs> but now what we're gonna do is there is a bolt here and a bolt here and that is going to take off this bracket but first because last time I didn't do this first take your six millimeter hex right six millimeter hex right there 
and holding the rotor on. So this is why you don't take that off first. You take your screwdriver, you stick it in between the rotor right there. And then that keeps your rotor from spinning. So you can take off your six millimeter hex. Ugh. sucker was in there. Wow. And here is that little pin, a uh, rotor pin. That is what's going to hold your rotor up in there. Remove your screwdriver, put you back here. There it is. Two 18 millimeter bolts back here take your 18 millimeter we're gonna go up so let me get a better grip here lefty loosey Ugh. up all right got that one loose got that one loose Bam, that, your bracket is off there now. So that's your caliper bracket. Next, oh boy, that rotor is on there, ain't it? Shoe in front of it, so I don't fuck up this rotor, because it's still a good rotor. Let's see if this will help. There we go. One good smack to the actual outside here is what did it. But there's the old rotor. Set that to the side. Let's get the new one. Heavy duty, slotted, drilled and slotted. Heavy duty. This is Hulk Racing is what this is, Hulk Racing. Uh, all together, the brakes and the rotors was uh, 800 and like 850, I think. So, pretty good price. Um, you know, a little bit of money, but guess what? The way I drive, this is what I need. I don't drive under 100 miles an hour anywhere I go. Now, what you see me doing right here is putting the lug nut back on the rotor. So it will hold the rotor tight up against the hub so I can get that rotor pin in there a whole lot easier. Now, that'll hold it on there. So now, you can get your little bolt in here. Ah, oh, dang. All right, so that is in there. Little six millimeter hex bolt is in there. All right, next thing we gotta do is put the uh, caliper brackets back on. Caliper bracket right here. There's that. Next, we gotta put our brakes in our caliper. So, brakes in the caliper. Now, okay, thing you gotta do now, is take your seat clamp. Get you a seat clamp and take one of your old brakes. All right, so this here, we take one of the old brakes, we set it back down in there. We take the C-clamp, 
we open it up until we can fit it on there. Once it fits on there, we grab it wherever we can and we push down that caliper. This is gonna compress that caliper so when your new pads go in there, they got extra meat. So this right here is gonna let the extra meat go. Them new pads are meaty. So you compress that caliper down so they'll fit over the rotor. All right. That's compressed. And then let's put them new brakes in here. All right, that goes there. This one goes here. And you can tell because this one fits down in this caliper real nice. The other one does not. It would help if I could see, you know, but it's so dark in this garage i need better light that fits down in there real nice all right right everything good yeah we're all fit in there good right here you're gonna put some of the brake uh goo oh by the way y'all using snap mounts if you go to snap mount you can use my code smash and get you a 10 percent discount on snap mounts because you've seen how i just stuck you to the car now i'm gonna put you back on the gopro so we're gonna take our wheel grease we're gonna grease these two little spots on each side try not to get it on your rotor if you do wipe it off but we're gonna put it right here This is non this is a uh, non seize stuff. It'll help them slide better and not seize up on you. Yep. Good. Anti seize, that's what it's called. Anti seize. So there's the anti-seize, put that on there. Then we wipe our finger off, because that stuff is gross and doesn't smell good. I should have put that behind the hub. Little tip, if you do this, put that behind the hub right here. I should have done it, but man, you know what, whatever. So, then you take and you put everything back together now, just like it came apart. No, no. We gotta put this thing back together. Good. So I didn't get this last time. So, what you gotta do. Okay, that's what I learned the last time. There's a little notch, this little, this, there's a notch right here that that goes into. And then you take, so you put this one in the bottom down here, right? Put it in the bottom. All right, I'm going to tell you exactly what I did. That thing has two metal pieces coming off of each side of it. I put the bottom metal piece into the little slot where it's supposed to go. Then I put the top metal piece in. So then when you do that, you're able to take your screwdriver and put it right in that middle tab like I'm doing right here and then sliding that tab into its notch and it is installed. I hope you've seen that. I hope you've seen that because I don't really know how to explain what I just did. So hopefully you've seen it. 
then we're just going to make sure that they're in there. Give them a little tap, make sure. Yeah. There we go. Brakes are put back together. Now put your wheel on and let's go drive. All right, guys, in this next clip, I'm going to say wheel sensor about 20 times, but it is not a wheel sensor. It is a brake pad sensor. Please excuse my ignorance. So this black box right here, there's two tabs on the bottom. You open these tabs up and right here should be a wheel sensor. Um... I guess it only has one. So, <laughs> uh, okay, it only has one wheel sensor, I guess. But if you were gonna hook up a wheel sensor, you're gonna take it and it's gonna go in here and there should be something that it'll hook to right there, right? So this will hook to it. And then you'll run it down through here and then see this little thing? That hooks onto your caliper bleeder screw, right? So that'll go right on top of that bleeder screw. And then your cap will go back on. And then your wheel sensor will sit right there like that. So your wheel sensor, your wheel sensor sits right there. That. If I say wheel sensor so one more time, go. I'm going to delete this whole video. On the other side. I wish I would have recorded it, but I just basically showed you how to do it. I guess it only has a wheel sensor on one side. All right. I said it one more time. So we're going to go ahead and end this video. Put your wheel back on and drive like you're a crazy person. But don't forget to pump your brakes before you get out on the road make sure to pump your brakes this has been smash dabs showing you how to put front brakes and rotors on a bmw 335i this is a 2007 bmw 335i thank you and i hope you enjoyed my instructional video from an ignorant mechanic on how to change your bmw brakes if you are broke and don't know how and can't pay somebody to do it